where the magic happens. Um, there's a 40 foot storage container. I work on all the Volkswagens, uh, MR2s. I'm gonna work on those eventually. Did a Vanagon in here as well. I swapped the to a Subaru. So it's pretty much a 40 foot in length, about nine feet tall and about seven and a half from wall to wall. And I'll, I'll show you how the Beetle fits in here. I'll take some shots of the sides, see how much space you have in here. Um, I got some insulation here. It's not professional, but during the summer it gets hot as hell in here. If it's like 100 degrees out here, it's about 120 roughly in here. There's nothing really special about this. There's no power in here. All my stuff is a cordless, you know, battery based. Like I have the Milwaukee M12 line. That works fine. I have about 20 batteries, so I have enough power. Um, I'll just run you through what I got in here uh, as far as tools and then storage for power i have this generator picked it up on offer for 100 bucks if i have to use my compressor here i have a compressor here and i tried running this ac unit during the summer but the, it does nothing it's way too hot in here but anyways i have a power source there in case i ever need to use it for anything here i have a i don't know what it is maybe a 1700 Came out of the Super Beetle. My buddy took it apart and I just gotta put it back together. Put a few seals, rebuild the carb, and then throw it back in that Super Beetle. I have a basic uh, Harbor Freight toolbox. There's nothing really special in here. Just a bunch of random tools. Just somewhere to store some of these tools I got in here. I built this bench. Got a vise on here. You, you definitely need a vise if you're planning on making one or working out of one of these. You need a vice in a bench. I got some lighting here. I had a van that had solar panels and all that. I sold it, so I had these lights going. And I don't really wanna run the generator just to run like 70 watt lights, so I don't run those anymore. Uh, I'm all portable now with the Milwaukee setup. This is where I have my lunch usually. Some random parts laying around. Here on this side, I have my buddy's little tow cart um he said he was gonna fix it at some point so i'm just using it as a storage rack right now for some pieces for that 1914 engine there then i have a storage rack here and on top i have some parts for all the cars this is just tools i usually use these tools because they're more portable than coming back to my toolbox back and forth so i just usually grab like this milwaukee set I'll grab the whole thing and carry it with me. It's a lot easier that way. If you do this, go modular. Things that you can carry with you. That's what I would recommend. Here I have a extra Subaru engine. It's a single overhead cam EJ25. For a future build, I got the harness built and everything. This is a 1914 I just picked up. It's running. Have some parts over there. And this is a for AGE for the MR2. We're gonna rebuild that at some point on the channel, so I'll probably have my girlfriend go through it with me. Back here is storage. The seats up here are all for the notch back. Here I have like just stuff I use. Like these two are hoses, just any type of hose, like vent hose, fuel hose, heater hose. Then down there I have electrical wiring and such. And then the rest is just storage. Beetle parts, some EJ25 engine parts, more Beetle stuff. These are tires for the Super Beetle out there. I have an extra set of MR2 rims back there. Um, seats, more tires, those are off the van again. Um, and just storage, another dash for the MR2. So the rear is mostly, that's where I shove all the extra parts. Yeah, that's the shop. You could definitely fit a lot of things in here. Volkswagens are about 13 and a half feet. So mine actually comes up to here. So you get that much space and then the rest you could do whatever you want. I used to have it set up where the, I had the car inside and then storage back there and then my tools here. But every time I had to back out the car, I had to move it all the tools. So 
I switch it to over here and then I can get it in and out and work on it as I please. But it's a, a 40 foot container by nine feet by seven and a half feet. And it's definitely more than enough room to work on a Volkswagen. That's it, it's a small shop, but you can definitely get a lot done. And if it gets a little too hot in here, I just roll the beetle out and I work on it out there. Sometimes my brother will come and he'll work on his car out here. He'll use all my tools, so it's very convenient. The reason I I picked this up was because I, I just didn't have space, so I had to get something and this works out just fine. Things that aren't great about it, like I have no power. There are some downsides, but if you don't have anywhere else to work on your cars, this is great. If you are planning on doing this, get yourself some insulation. It helps out a bunch. I cannot recommend that you do that uh, enough. It's definitely worth it. So anyways, uh, I hope this kind of helps somebody out thinking about doing this. It's a little crazy, but it definitely allows me to work on my cars. If you guys are interested in more Volkswagen or MR2 content, if you guys could subscribe, it helps out. Um, thank you guys, bye.